G'day and welcome back to Dark Zola Gaming and our Zorly Zoo. Yes, we are back playing Planet Zoo. So we are continuing on. Going to see if we can develop the zoo a little bit further without killing every animal that we have in sight and actually hopefully breeding some and actually developing a bit of a conservation society. All right, so what we've got now is we have started to move out a bit. We're going to make it a little bit less blocky. To date, our, uh, our habitats have all been fairly square. We're going to try and break that up a little bit. We're going to sort of start sort of making a bit more of a, a scenic area, all that sort of stuff as we're going through. Uh, we've just put a new habitat boundary in here. We've got some wolves that we bought previously that we need to uh, get out and put into a, in, into a habitat, into an exhibit. We're going to put those here, so they're next to the Arctic wolves. So we'll have timber wolves and Arctic wolves right next to each other. Uh, what else has happened? So uh, off camera we did a little bit of work. We've, we've got up to $26,000, which is wonderful. Um, we did do a little bit of work around in here. We just printed the place up a little bit, put a bit of plant life in here give it a bit more of an aesthetic feel and make the uh, the guests a little bit happier. We've done some work. We had some research that was completed. So we've researched another drink stand. So we've got Gulpy Slush. And we've also researched another food stand being the uh, Hot Dog Squad. So we've put one each of those in as well. And that seems to be working a treat as well. Uh, demand for our food and drink has been quite high, which is very good as well, because obviously that's going to make us money. Um, so that's what we've done through there. What else have we done? We haven't done a lot really. We've just sort of stabilized a bit of our population. We fixed up our uh, red ruffed lemurs in here. They were there was a little bit of a case of inbreeding going on. So we, we fixed that up. And I think at the moment we have got one young one there, one baby. No, it's an adult. Pretty sure we had one that was actually having a baby. There he is. There's the baby. That's the ringtail one. Uh, where else we got in here? Another ringtail baby there. Um, so we had a couple of babies anyway. So they're going along okay as well. Uh, reindeer, we've got another reindeer in as well. So we've got a male and a female now. Uh, so hopefully they'll start breeding as well. Um, our wolves over here are going quite well. We did, I think we bought another female. Um, so we've got, uh, well, what have we got in the habitat? We've got, uh, let's have a look. We've got three, three timber wolf, uh, arctic wolves, so two females and a male. Uh, so they're carrying along quite well, and that's basically it. Uh, staff, we just we fired one or two staff and we bought one or two extra in, uh, but that's basically it. But anyway, so we're going to continue on now. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to fill this one in here and get this going. Um, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to bring a path in, so we're going to need a staff path to start with so let's just get that knocked on the head straight away so we don't want it that wide we just want a standard path so we've got the back of house area here we've got a lot of area uh, that's fine that means we can extend some of our facilities and all that sort of stuff in here as well all right so that's got that up there going now what we're going to need to do is put some viewing areas in now i'm not going to put viewing areas everywhere um, i think that's going to be detracting from it a little bit. Uh, although, what I would ultimately like to do is have a nice big viewing area here with the one-way glass. In any case, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to come in here, go barriers, uh, and I'm going to go window there, and I'll put a window there. Put a window over in here, And put the dual windows here, like that. And I'll put one large window. I will put one large window in here. Literally. Right. Okay. It gives five viewing areas for the walls when they go in here. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to bring the walls in and get them going. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to press play and let the game continue on. Right. So, uh, timber wolves. So we've got that one, that one. Three females and two males. They should be okay. Send to zoo. There we go. Right. Let's see how we go with those. 
Oh, as you can hear, our wolves are out there howling. It's lovely hearing that. Uh, our guests seem to be okay. Um, I've seen bigger and better zoos. Well, I bet you have. Generally, we did also upgrade our ticket price again. Um, unless that's busy, okay. Uh, having a great time. There are no, there are no ATMs. I thought we had ATMs. Whoa, that's uh, something we've been remiss in having. Um, let's put an ATM or two in. Where am I going to put an ATM? Um, needs to be near the shops. So I think what we might do. Guest facilities, uh, an ATM. I think we're going to put an ATM. One there and one there. Right. Okay, so now they can get money up. Let's go back over here and see if our wolves have arrived. Here they are. Okay, so there's our wolves. Alright, let's uh, now set the habitat up, shall we? Right, so we'll get rid of that. Uh, our habitat. Right, um, what do they need? Welfare, uh, habitat, right. So let's have a look at the terrain. Hard shelter, obviously we need that. So let's put a hard shelter in. Um, let's go habitat. Beds and shelters. I think we might put in a rather large wooden shelter at the back here. Uh, although, small shelter. The problem with these ones is they don't tend to give as much shelter as what you would like. Uh, I think we'll just put one of those in. Like that. Okay. Um, so shelter. We've got uh, just enough shelter there, which is good. Now, grass short, grass long. Um, we need to get rid of our grass long. We need to replace it with some soil and some rock. So let's go to terrain. Soil. Right, so we're going to put some soil in. Let's uh, go on the outside with some soil. Okay. I'm just going to keep doing that. In fact, what we're going to do is we're going to go size, intensity. That. Uh, some rock. Okay, uh, still got too much grass along. Right. Um, there we go, grass short, put some short grass in. Too much grass short now. We'll get rid of the grass long. Right, grass long will back under control. Um, some more soil again. There we go. Right, so our terrain is okay now. Uh, environment, plants, I don't need plants now. Um, we can put some plants in, uh, we'll have a look at that a little bit later. Enrichment. enrichment, there is no enrichment, so what we need to do is we need to get the vets researching these guys. Uh, let me see, what have we got? So we'll go to the vet research. We've got some research there waiting for us. Um, excellent, well we can take some other vets off that for a start. And we can put Julian Blackwell onto the Timberwolf. And the Arctic Wolf, we've already got uh, plenty of research on that one going. Tanya Orr has been very busy with that one. Uh, I think what we might do, though, is we might reassess what we're doing here. Uh, I think the Poison Frog needs a bit of love. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to get some uh, more of these diseases worked out. Um, canine Distemper, I think. Let's research that one. Right. 
Uh, so we need enrichment, so that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look and see what our enrichment availability is for these guys. Um, we may already have some from our Arctic Wolves. So Timber Wolf. Like that. Okay, so we do have some enrichment here that I would like. Now certainly they love these scent markers. So we'll put one of these over. Right. So that gets us our toy enrichment straight away. We're, we're pretty high. Um, I think we'll put uh, a sprinkler in. Yeah, like that. I might put them all over in here like that. Now, these guys I think like a bit of a cooler, even though they're actually okay at the moment. Um, I think they might enjoy a little bit of a cooler temperature as well. So we may end up dropping that a little bit. Uh, we'll see how that pans out as well. Uh, I think we'll put a box down here. A box here will do nicely. Uh, and I'll put a ball over in here. Okay, now uh, I do want to do something similar over here, over what I've done over here. So as you can see, we put some bedding under a, a bit of a rock scape there. Um, I'm going to do something similar over here as well. Uh, so we are going to modify the terrain, lift it up a bit, all that sort of stuff. Uh, I do need to put in a feeding area and food enrichment. So we're going to put food enrichment. So we're going to put one, two, three of those in. Um, Money's going up nicely, so we're at 32,000, which is good. Uh, so we've got that in there. Now, food and water. Uh, a water pipe. I'm going to put two water pipes in because it is a rather large enclosure. I'm going to put one there, one over there. And I'm going to put just two food trays in. I'm going to put a small one in here and a small one in. In fact, no, I'll just put three food trays. See so yeah, how that goes. I haven't done it that way before. I've normally put in large ones in for large exhibits or a few animals. Uh, we'll just see how that works. Um, heaters and coolers. I'm not going to play with that yet. I think we'll just leave that for now. Uh, okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just do a bit of terrain editing. I'm going to bring this up a little bit. Right, like that. Uh, we'd like to put some, I'm thinking about putting water in too, but um, we should put some water in just at least so there's some in here. Now, they don't need water, uh, certainly. Um, so it has no preference for a water area, so we don't really have to. Um, but we might put one in there anyway. We'll see how that goes. All right, so they are seemingly uh, quite happy now. Um, food enrichment we're waiting on. Stud book, okay. okay. Social, uh, socially they're okay. Um, they do run in a pack, so we've got, we've got, uh, actually one of them a juvenile. One of them must be classed as juvenile. Is it? How many have we got there? Thought I had five. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's one there. Uh, uh, adult? Okay. Alright, temperature. Right. Animal is too hot. There we go. Right, so let's go back in here. Let's uh, cool everything out of it. So let's uh, put um, a cooler in there. A cooler in there. Um, now. Think. Right, so we're going to lower that temperature. It's okay. Uh, operational. Okay, we'll just see how that goes. Um, let's go back in here. Right, there we go. So we did have to lower it just a little bit, but they're okay there now, which is very good. Now, uh, let's have a look. What was the. Uh, Temperate taiga or tundra. Let's put some. I'm going to put some plants in there because I think it looks a bit bare otherwise. Uh, so we're going to get some plants. 
we're going to get a uh, theme, no not theme, bio, tundra, taiga, right, probably not even saying that right, anyway, um, broken scots pine, no I don't want that in there, uh, a black spruce, I think, I think the black spruce gives it a nice, uh, arctic sort of, not an arctic look, but a, but a cooler climate look, um, so I'll put a couple of those in round through here, that looks nice, um, a bare berry bush, let's put some bushes down in here, break it up a little bit there, Okay, now uh, what else we got? A festive spruce. I don't want a festive spruce. I don't want a Christmas tree. A monkey puzzle tree. That's something uh, different. Oh, why not? We'll put a monkey puzzle tree. We'll put that up top in here. That's something a bit different. Alright, um, what else we got? A puya plant. What the? That doesn't really fit, does it? Um, Cedar, yellow cedar. Right, I think we've got enough in the way of cedar. Let's, um, gardening, I don't need rocks. Put some rocks in a little bit later. Uh, caribou moss. i put some moss in through here. Again, just to fill it out a little bit. Alright, there we go. Monkey puzzle tree is not right, so there we go. Well, why did it come up with that? Alright, anyway, let's go on. Right. All right. Anyway, they're relatively happy. Now, what we do need to do is put some uh, learning stuff in because the guests won't be happy otherwise. So, what we've got is, let's have a look. Uh, facilities, was it? Yes, it was. Now, I did get a information sign or two. Um, they're not available. Oh, and there's not available because I haven't unlocked it. Um... Right, so what we're going to do is we are going to, uh, right, let's put, put one of them in there and see what that does. Alright, let's, uh, oh, it's a bit dark. Right, conservation sign. Uh, bee population deforestation. Uh, okay. Now, I don't know if we've got power there by the look of it. Let's have a look at our power up here. Is that power? No, we've got power, so that's okay. Um, a oh, little bit dark, a little bit dark. Now, let's put uh, in, uh, exhibit. Come on, exhibit. I want habitat, education board. Right. I think we're just going to put them one there, one there. One there. In fact, can I put them? I can. Like that. Put them nice and high. There's more than enough information boards there now. Right. Where are they? So we're going to select Timberwolf. Timberwolf. I don't think this has quite got power over here. Timberwolf. Timberwolf. And our last one over here is Timberwolf. Right. There's power there. There's no power over here. Right. Let's uh, have a look. Right. So power's there. We need to bring some more power over. Um, Many guests still think tickets are underpriced. Okay, all right. Well, I would love to increase that, but generally you get angry with me. All right, let's um, let's have a look at how big an area the power gives off. Um, negative impact on guests. That's so fairly sizable. So what I need to do is I need to put electricity up in here somewhere. 
All right, we are going to put a path in here though for our staff. Uh, we're just going to turn that off so I can see. Well, I say I'm going to see better, but that's not really true. Right, so we're going to put a path up through here. Like that. Right, so that gives them access down here. Uh, I think we're going to put in our facilities. So we're going to put in a water and a power unit. And we're going to take them up, 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 up. Rotate. Right, let's uh, turn that off again. Very hard to see. Here it is. All right, put that one up here. And the water treatment plant can go there as well. Right. Now, if we have a look at. Let me get out of that. Right, so they're, they're there as a group. Uh, if we now have a look at our radar. Uh, I have got electricity and water. That one there is not covered. All right, so let's uh, quickly just fix that by deleting that. Right. All right. Now um, we need to put in some other things here. We need to put in uh, our ever important donation box, which is here. I'm going to put one right there. Now I think if you put it next to the information boards, you've got a little bit more chance of getting a donation because they're being educated. So uh, then you, maybe we're putting too many down. Who knows? If you do know, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm, I'm happy to be educated. I am certainly not a, uh, a soothsayer when it comes to creating the best zoo. Uh, anyway, these guys are actually, we're uh, feeding them. He looks as though he's chasing after the keeper. Ooh, wouldn't like that. All right, so that's uh, off and running. Excellent, right. Now, I think we might put in some educational speakers. So I'm gonna put one there. There. Put one there. And I want to put one around the front here. And like that. Now, Educational speaker, Timberwolf. You make you Timberwolf as well. Timberwolf. And make you Timberwolf. Right. There we go. So the guests should be being educated now. Uh, that's all well and good up there. Now what I do want to do as well up in here is I think we might put another eating area. Uh, and in fact we might put in... Um, in fact what we have, we had... If I remember correctly, I had a blueprint. There it is there, an African village. That's $16,000. Uh, now I can't unlock that yet. Uh, a basic building, that's a zoo admin. Mm, what have we got? A walk through lever habitat. Uh, we've already got lemurs. Terrarium building. Let's see, what have we got? What have we got? A semi aquatic habitat. We have to look at how we put that in. At some point soon, a large herbivore habitat. Let's have a look at that. Okay. Um, let's have a look. Will that fit in here? It will fit in there. We can put that in there. We reckon, do we reckon put that in there? Mm. Line habitat, three levels. 
or would you rather put a lion habitat in? Now, I'm going to have to play with that one because that's three levels. I've got to work out how I'm going to put uh, the terrain levels in. A large primate habitat. Um, again, that requires some terrain adjustment. I'm going to have to work out how to do that so it works uh, perfectly well. What else we've got? Simple block. Uh, fog and snake exhibit we've already got. Just wanted to see what we had in the way of uh, pre made habitats we got from the workshop. So, in case you weren't aware or you've forgotten, you can actually download pre made or prefabbed blueprints you can use in your zoo. So, these things here I've actually downloaded from the workshop. So, other people have actually made these and uploaded them to the workshop so we can actually use them, uh, which can be quite handy. Um, What's this one here? Starter staff area all in one. Um, no, the one, the one. Small primate habitat. Okay, uh, that, that looks okay. Let's put. Let's start off by putting that in. Uh, and what we could probably do is we could probably get some macaques uh, and put in there. Um, all right, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. All right. What we will look at first is we'll just make sure that everything is hunky dory because it is time for us to end the episode. So we're going to come back. We'll have a bit of a play with those other uh, exhibits and we'll see if we can put those in. Uh, I do want to start looking at getting some more animals. Uh, particularly, I would like to get some lions, but I haven't seen any lions coming up on the uh, trading area at all. Um, let's scroll through here and see there's some tigers, uh, more arctic wolves um, I really would like some lions um, but we're not seeing any giant pandas, I could put some giant pandas in possibly uh, what have we got left in our zoo, we've got some ze we got a zebra um, ok so we have a zebra, we could put in a little garden area for some peacock fowls um, and we got a western chimpanzee there. This thing's expired. Refresh the list. Uh, um, yeah, I'd really like a couple of lions. And we only need two lions, a male and a female, because they will breed very quickly. So, uh, anyway, that's okay. Okay, many guests think tickets are underpriced. Well, Let's uh, have a look. What's our prices? Whoops. Okay. Research completed. So we've researched the golden poison frog, border telosis, timber wolf, canine distemper virus. Excellent. Right. Um, let's just fix this up before we do sign off. Um, timber wolf is being done okay. Arctic wolf. Uh, I'll just leave them as they are. They're okay. Let's have a look at mechanic research quickly. Barriers and staff facilities have researched another level, which is fine. Uh, let them... Uh, staff facilities. Yeah, I'll let them. They're doing the last one. Uh, he's doing the second to last one. Um, in fact, no, let's uh, bring Leslie. I want to do some power research. Okay, so we'll do that. All right, uh, ticket prices. That's what we're doing, wasn't it? Oh, seriously. All right, I've already done that. Thank you. Now, back in here. Ticket prices currently fifteen dollars for an adult and eight dollars for a child. Let's up that to twenty, and we'll up that to twelve, and we'll see if that makes them any happier. Uh, let's have a look at our inspection report. Our last inspection report was okay. So cleanliness, we got a five. Education, we got a four. So we need to work a bit more on education, but that's generally okay. Uh, and Finally, let's have a look. Uh, finances, the graph, um, total profit. Our profit jumped up there, certainly. Um, that's what we're currently in. So, yeah, I think we're generally doing okay. Um, our entrance is looking okay. I do want to start printing things up, particularly around through here, and start working on this a little bit more. But I think we've got uh, quite a few guests. And here we go. Look at them, look at them all lining up here for gold slush and all that sort of stuff. 
Uh, I think we're going to need to build another eatery over here. Take a bit of this workload off. But to do that, we're also going to have to put some animals over there. So uh, it's go, go, go. Anyway, thanks so much for joining us. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, press that like button. If you didn't, that's okay. We don't mind, but uh, it's not for everyone. And of course, don't forget to press that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to the channel. We'd love to have you aboard. And if you do press that subscribe button, please make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well. So you can be made aware of more videos coming to the channel. And there we have a baby reindeer. Look, isn't he cute? Isn't he pretty? All right. I think I'll just... Uh, that's a nice shot there. Righto. Um, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, make sure you press that subscribe and alarm notification icon. And we'll be back here very, very soon. Ducksaw Gaming and Zorly Zoo on Planet Zoo. All right. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you very, very soon. See you later. Bye.